Pterodactyl here, and today I'm going to show you how to gap a spark plug. And if you don't know what that is, that's the little gap between this little L-shaped thing and that electrode on the spark plug. Now, there's a lot of different spark plug gapping tools out there. And here's just three examples that I have here of different spark plug gapping tools. So, for small engines, most of them are 30 thousandths of an inch, the gap. But if you don't know what yours is for your particular machine that you're working on, be it a car or something else, a four-wheeler, check your owner's manual or go on the internet and do a giggle search and find out. So, how these tools work. They've got the different thousandths of an inch on here. This one's 30 thousandths. You try to stick it in there, if it doesn't fit, that's what this part of the tool is for, for bending this little tang. And you bend it until you can get the proper feeler gauge amount you're looking for to fit in there. As long as you're close, it's not that critical, we're not flying to the moon on it, it's not the space shuttle. Here's a different set same thing. It's got the little bending tab tang tool and this one's got all the different thousandths of an inch on there. All the different ones for different gaps of spark plugs. You do the same thing. Find the one you're looking for, 30 thousandths, and you just rub it through there to make sure it fits. This one's a little different. Here's your bending tag tang tool and here's your different thousandths of an inch so you just want to make sure the gap fits in there depending on what you're using what size so if you like this video subscribe to my youtube channel Terrell fixes all I'm Terrell and there's your dinner